All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vyond at this hour. Now, Russia has once again raised the threat of a possible nuclear war. The Kremlin has said that four regions of Ukraine that Moscow declared as annexed in the recent weeks fall under the protection of Russia's nuclear arsenal. This statement comes a month after the Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Moscow is ready to use nuclear weapons if needed to defend the territorial integrity of Russia. On the ground, the Russian missiles continue to strike Ukrainian towns and cities, targeting several key civilian and other infrastructure. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that Russian strikes had destroyed nearly about 30% of the country's power stations in a span of a week. And fresh barrage of missiles have also cut off electricity in cities across Ukraine. Now, the attacks on the energy facilities has caused blackouts and has also disrupted water supplies in large parts of Ukraine. And the estimate is nearly about 30% of the energy infrastructure in Ukraine has been decimated in just the last one week. Now, these strikes have affected places such as Kiev and Kharkiv in the east, Mykolaiv in the south and also the central regions of Dnipro, Zytomyr, etc. Where the officials have said that hospitals are now effectively running on backup generators. The mayor of the Zaitomer city has said that the attacks had knocked out the power stations and also the power supplies and has also affected the water supplies within the city. In the southeastern city of Dnipro, two explosions rocked a central energy facility. In the southern port city of Mykolaiv, a Russian missile struck an apartment building in the wee hours of the day. And according to reports that have come in, the strike has also killed at least one person. In Kharkiv, the Ukrainian air defense forces shot down a Russian S-300 missile. Meanwhile, for its part, Moscow has denied targeting civilians. According to the Russian defense ministry, it is carrying out attacks on what it describes as only military targets and energy infrastructure across Ukraine using high-precision weapons. Meanwhile, Ukraine has accused Russia of kidnapping two senior staff members at the Russian-occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. And according to Energo Atom, the power station's head of information technology and also an assistant to the plant's director, have now been kidnapped by the Russian forces. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.